Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jean-Paul Giancarlo, Technical Specialist for South Yuba here at Autodesk. Uh, and today I'm going to show you how you can achieve a result that the one, uh, like the one you're watching on the screen right now. Uh, so basically, we're going to be using paint effects. Uh, we're going to be also using Arnold stand-ins and MASH in order to populate uh, that terrain. Um, so I'm just going to start. I'm going to go to, to Maya. and So I have the, the scene already built so I, I'm gonna go and explain step by step how to get to there so as you can see I have my terrain I have my water um, and have a bunch of things so first thing I did in order to get there was I went to my content browser um, if you go to content browser under the paint effects tab you go all the way back down to grass as you see you have a bunch there um, so I created basically just grass clumps I created another console grin I created this cactus grass at uh, the wild grass so basically I painted them all in in here so um like a, like so so basically you just do uh your grass you paint your grass and once you've done that um you also want to make sure that once you do this that you basically center the pivot um also freeze the transforms and once you've done that you go to modified um to the and then to the paint effects to polygon um command so basically just heat that in there as you see that that thing move back so if that happens just basically just do the center pivot again and freeze the transform uh, transforms again um once you have this you need to apply um you need to apply your um ai standard surface material so or shader and once you do that you could you could either uh, basically go to your to the, your actual shader and go from type and convert it to a a standard surface or just basically apply a new one but doesn't really matter how the way you do it uh, once you've applied your shader with all your colors so in this case I connected a ramp and I added a little bit of surface scattering to it um, a little bit just like so just uh, uh, one uh, 0.15 then added a, a scattering color which I wanted to be a little bit um, yellowish uh, once I did that I went into the Arnold menu here and I expo exported exported all of them as standards so for a second i'm just going to delete this one that i created i'm going to show you the ones that i had created before um, so i'm going to tumble around so you can see um, all of them there so it's pretty much these these four guys and um, once i did export them as standards i print them back in so the way you do that just all you need to do is go again to the Arnold menu, uh, go to create, and bring them all one by one. So once I did that, I had my, um, I have all of my standings here in the scene. Once you create, if you don't, if you haven't done this before, if you haven't used standings, I just want to go through um, the menu pretty quickly. So you get an, a standing node, and you have options like draw mode for the viewport, uh, but default set to bounding box, but you can change that from bounding box to things like poly wire or wireframe or point point, point cloud. Um, but for this for this demo, I want to keep that as a bounding box. So um, now, in order to populate the plane. All I need to do is just select all of them. Um, you have to go into your effects menu, um, go to MASH and do create a MASH network. So you just click on the options and by default it's set to MESH. So you have to choose Instancer instead because uh, you don't want, you, you, these are not meshes per se, so they need to be instances. So once you do that, you hit apply and close. So I've already done this. So I already have everything set up just for just to, to save a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna go to the MASH. Um, uh, it, by default, it creates a MASH distribute node. And this distribute node is set to linear. Um, and basically, all you need to do is change that distribution type from linear to mesh, and then grab your, your, your ground plane or your terrain and just basically middle uh, mouse drag and just throw it into the input mesh there. So that, that's pretty much what I've done. So once you do that, uh, you also have to tell MASH, okay, because um, MASH won't know exactly how many objects you have uh, there in that selection. So it'll default to the very first one uh, or the very last one that you have selected. So you need to do just basically add an ID node. And once you do, uh, it's by default set to linear. Uh, so you can see um, 
he is chose there a little bit and he sets the count to five because he knows there were uh, five objects there so you can either iterate and use whatever you want it could be cycle it could be fixed it could be random so for this particular case i use random and then i also added a random node so i created a random node here which gave me this node and i changed the the scale y to four uh, let's do that five and that was pretty much it. So I have saved a, a camera, so I have a bookmark, so I'm gonna go back to that. And I go back to my distribute node, and I'm gonna set this to 20,000, which is what I had in the beginning. So 20,000, um, I hit enter, and you can see how nice that gets populated with all of my objects. So if I hit render now, and I think I had it here, no, nope, that's the content browser, so hit render. That's, that's the result I'm gonna get. Um, so it's pretty straightforward um, it literally takes takes about 10 minutes to set this up and obviously you can add a lot more to this um, so i hope you enjoy this and eddie it comes as um it's useful for the for the future so um please welcome back and remember to visit our um, technical specialist Stephen rosell website on my maya or maya in five by morgan evans so hope you enjoy this again i'll see you next week